Thank you. Hello. Yes, my manuscript is called Seen in Other Contraceptives. It's about black womanhood and sexuality in America. And engages with the question, if I don't think that my life is livable, how will I ever bring a new life into this country, into this world? That being said, I'm going to talk about a lot of difficult issues. So if anyone needs to like step out, go get some cookies, like definitely do that if you need to. Uh, your emotional health and mental health is important. And if you need that pause, you can definitely take it. So the first poem I'm going to read for y'all this evening is called Welcome. Welcome. You can be a citizen, but we will not feed your children. They will never wave our flags between their legs, never rest beside our dead. They do not belong here. You have no control. We remove them from your future. Refuse your body the chance to birth red, white, and blue. You cannot afford a pot to piss in. How will you buy a crib? A roof over your head? We save you from yourself, you animal. We castrate you like you are an animal. Leave your men behind. Label them criminals, rapists, thugs, so that we can steal your body. Yes, from your head to your toes, you are ours. We need no more of you. The seats assigned, the music chosen. Be our guest. This is how we show you we love you. Make the photo interesting. Land of the free, home of the brave, be our guest. We cry our rivers between your thighs. Water breaks into your womb, drowned, bloated, left swollen and shriveled. Let us come inside of you without ever meeting our bastard. No? You are ours, don't forget it. You will be nowhere without our mercy. Your tongue carries the aftertaste of your accent. Foreigner, we season our lips with your heritage. Our offspring, aliens in human flesh. Their skin in patches where the ruse breaks away. We give you drink. So your lips do not bleed when they part to kiss ours. We feed you. To strengthen the body bent over our desk. This is how we show you we love you. You don't need children as proof. They will only grow up to suffer like you, to feel strange in a land that poses as home. Every time I watch the news, it puts me in the blues. I think about you. Every time I watch the news. When the sirens came, the news showed us the video like we didn't know how we died publicly in front of the nation's eyes. While children shared this clip over dinosaur oatmeal, over their math homework, over playground swings. When the sirens came for us, we hosted our arms that used to pick mangroves from South Florida trees, resting them on the dashboard like hurricane debris. We hushed the fear climbing up our throat, feet against wet bark. The anxiety slipped, but still made its way up. We cleared the seas from our voice as the officer motioned us to roll down the window. Our hearts replayed the video. Our bodies kept motionless. Maybe he will not kill us, we thought, if he sees that we are living eulogies. Fourth of July. Time hung in the air, dying by the second. Sneakers hung from the telephone wire, giving the birds company. We hung out on the stoop, mistaking gunshots for fireworks. Drive by. Hearts beat like jump rope against pavement where roses weep seeds into cracks. Every time I watch the news, after the verdict, I do not know how my mother let us leave the house with our skin over our bones, how she did not remove our flesh and tuck it back into bed where no harm could come to it, how she did not hold it and kiss it until it was late for the bus, how she did not bring it medicine and warm soup, how she did not spoon feed it with airplanes and trains, how she did not give it a piggyback ride when its feet got tired. How she did not draw it a bubble bath and climb into the tub to wash its back. 
How she did not close it behind a door while she sat outside with a shotgun and a prayer. How she refrained from opening her legs and stuffing it back inside the best hiding place she knew how. She watched us leave the house with it, knowing that it was identical to what the other kid had worn. Every time I watch the news, it puts me in the blues. I think about you, baby. Casket, baby. You spill into the world without a coup. Hospital lights bathe you in heaven's hue. What is mama to make of you? Death keeps you baby boy blue. You are spared from the pain, yes, that is true. All the misery your dark complexion would have put you through. Mama holds you, saying hello and bidding adieu. You are celebrated and you are mourned too. Baby. Every time I watch the news, it puts me in the blues. Black women in their blood, after Maggie Smith. This country is murderer, mourner, and pallbearer. I mourn my wounds stained with blood. Life ain't easy for me in this country, a pallbearer. I am trying to save my children. For every white child born, a black child raped, shot, strangled, beaten, I am keeping my sex safe because life ain't easy to carry in a bloody womb. I am saving my children. No cradle equals no grave. No grave equals no cradle. No cradle equals no grave. No grave equals no cradle. No grave as long as my sex stays safe. In this last poem, it's going to be a thinker, so I'm going to leave it with y'all this evening. Thank you so much for listening. And this poem is called, Don't Be Silly. Don't be silly. He don't like rubbers. Said they don't feel as good as surprise fatherhood. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>